Hello and welcome to episode 39 of the Battlefield Top Plays. In this episode, I am going to be announcing the winner of last week's giveaway, but of course, I'm not recording this live and the giveaway will occur exactly at 8 o'clock, so I'm going to write it in the comments down below. I'll also add it to the description and, of course, put it on Twitter. Remember to send your clips into battlefieldtopplayers at gmail.com and type your favourite clip down in the comments. Let the person know who submitted the clip that they did a good job, if, of course, you think that. Kicking us off today at number one, we've got a clip sent in from Fancy Andy. He's going to be playing on Argon Forest Battlefield 1 with the MP18. Starting off with a couple of nice kills using the hip fire mechanic on this game. He seems to have mastered it with this weapon as another guy make that another three guys get taken out. Pretty decent range as well, making sure that he's not really missing too many bullets. The next target he goes for is a bit more tricky. He can't really kill him because he goes behind cover, so he pushes a little bit more, takes him out, and then coming up from behind this little bank, he is confronted with a whole load of people, manages to take a couple down and suppress another one before pushing around the side. And this is why I really like this clip. Argon Forest usually is just a complete clusterfuck and you don't know what's going on. You can try and flank a little bit, but Fancy Andy makes mince me of it here, pushing around the whole side, getting his team out from behind that tricky position on Echo towards Delta Flag. He eventually makes his way up to the trenches up at the top here again. Quite a few enemies pushing him. He manages to get some damage on one, gets a grenade in there, blows two of them up, and then flanking round the side, he goes for the third. A very nice clear helping his team push up the Delta flag. An awesome infantry clip. Fantastic work. And number two today, we've got a clip sent in from Saniel the Gangster. He's going to be playing on Battlefield 1 again, this time playing some Rush on Empire's Edge with the Hell Regal Factory, a gun that I've really enjoyed using through my time playing Battlefield 1. Now, he's already killed a couple of people, makes his way to the MCOM, gets it palmed, and then kills another guy. I realise I'm calling these MCOMs instead of telegraph thingies, whatever they are, but old habits can't really die, and I think MCOM sounds better anyway. He manages to get some dynamite on the flag, hits that guy, and takes him down before making his way to the top of the stairs and just camping at the top here. It's a really tactical position if it hasn't already been blown out by explosives where you can just wait for enemies to push onto the objective. Now unfortunately for him, when he does blow it, there's nobody there, but it's not going to deter him. He's going to get another piece of dynamite down onto the objective. He knows someone's going to push. As you can see, there's the guy, but the dynamite blows him up. It's a really, really nice tactic that, and I enjoy seeing that whenever I look at these objective-based clips. Telegraph destroyed, gets himself a nice amount of points, he's pretty much done that single-handedly, his squad mate's been helping him a little bit, comes around the corner and takes one more guy out, a really nice objective play, something that we haven't seen too much of on Battlefield 1, we don't see many rush clips being sent in. Next up we've got a clip sent in from Sabali, or Sabatli, not really too sure what to do with your name there, he's playing again on Battlefield 1, but this one is a completely epic clip. He's taking a leaf out of Dissectra's book from a couple of weeks back, making his way to a part of the map where the enemies are going to all congregate to at the very start. He puts some mines down and just check out how many kills he gets. I mean, I'm not even sure how many kills are in there, but I saw a tank and I saw a horse. So, <laughs> I mean, he's probably taken out about 10, 15 people, two vehicles in fact, if you keep watching. Uh, just, I don't even know what the enemy team's doing, bunching up like that. Incredible stuff, dude. Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Eros HD. He's doing something we saw Twan do again a couple of weeks back in the flanker tank up on the game of Operations on Monte Grappa. He's using the projectiles to fire straight through the doorway. Excellent design here for a map. <laughs> he just takes everybody out who's trying to get some cover down below. Not exactly sure what the point of this flag is because if you're on top, you're getting killed by a plane and if you're underneath, you're getting killed by a tank or grenade spam. It's kind of like a, a choke point that doesn't really need to be designed like that, but that's the way it is. I do see a lot of people playing on this version of Operations. I can see why there are some pretty clustery, epic moments, if that's the sort of stuff you're into. Eros is getting a whole load of kills. Skip forward in the clip just a tad. He manages to pick up around 20 kills, something like that, which is pretty fantastic for the short amount of time he was there. Unfortunately, he gets taken out by an anti-tank grenade. His tanks are pretty vulnerable on this game. Nevertheless, a great effort.
Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Makako1088. He's going to be playing on Battlefield 4 as we move back to Battlefield 4 for a couple of clips. In the spawn, fires a shot into the distance. Now, I'm not really too sure which shot hits because he does fire another one soon after. But nonetheless, I'm pretty certain he picks up the jet with the second shot. But nonetheless, it is an epic effort taking out a vehicle from that sort of range. Absolutely insane. Let me know in the comments what he actually took out because I'd really, really like to know. At number six today, we've got a clip sent in from Go Nero and keeping it with epic tank shots, we're gonna see another one. This time it's Firestorm playing on the Russian side. He fires a shot into the distance at that attack helicopter, manages to take it out. And just to make the clip all the more better, the commander then tags him as a high value target. Excellent clip. Next up, we've got a clip sent in from a teacher. He's going to be playing at the side of a helicopter. Unfortunately, the clip's quite abrupt at the start, so you can only just catch him get the first jet with an RPG. The second one also catches an RPG to the face. Two jets in one go. Not something you see every day. At number eight today, we have actually three clips sent in from Spaceyox. He sent in three in a row, all of them Metro kind of backrageous flanks, that sort of thing. I thought, why not put them all in so you can get your weekly fix of backrages because we haven't really had too many of them sent in recently. First one was quite a nice clear. Second one, same position with the MG4 and holy mother of God, their entire team is camping behind the lift. So he just, just eats them all up in one single magazine. Third one's a little more tactical, pushing this flag on Bravo. The enemies actually have it capped. This is one of my favorite parts of Metro when you have to push around this corner takes out a couple with the grenade, mashes a couple with his M16A4, then pulls out his Deagle to eliminate a couple more, gets a reload in on his M16, manages to take another guy out, watching from the side, he's got these stairs full of enemies, but his team's managed to cap the flag. He comes around the corner here quite blindly, enemies not really doing too much in the way of returning fire, nonetheless, he does take him out, comes back towards the escalators, manages to take three more guys down, who are on the side of the escalators. A really, really nice clip. It's an objective play as well. Fantastic work. Number nine today, we've got a clip sent in from Chubby Scrubby, back to Battlefield 1, and he's gonna be pulling off an epic sniping clip, getting a kill on that guy, and then first time takes out the gunner of the bomber absolutely no problem at all i really really love it when people pull off those shots in combination with other sniping shots and in fact he's not done he's going to be pulling off another couple of decent snipes in this clip the wards alpha flag he manages to take that guy with a nice shot to the crotch <laughs> and then spots a dude in the distance unfortunately misses a couple of shots so it turns his attention to the right hand side as he is being pushed from both angles gets that guy headshotted another guy body shotted Unfortunately, you can't finish him with the pistol, but a great effort with a couple of snipes in either side. Number 10, we've got a clip sent in from Bitbart, finishing off today with another Battlefield 1 clip. He's on, of course, everybody's favourite map and game mode for the attack plane. Drops off a load of bullets and some bombs with his plane and picks off. How many kills? <laughs> I really don't know. It was quite a lot. Over 10. Fantastic work, mate. Not really the most tactical thing in the world, but it is pretty impressive when you pick up that many kills in one feed. Thanks for watching this week's top plays. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below and let me know what your favourite clip was in the comments. Congratulations to this week's winner. We'll be having another giveaway in the near future. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.